Hi, so I'm here today to give you a quick run through on how to play Wiper Salient, a solitaire game. Here's the uh, very simple turn sequence. Deal five cards into your hand, deploy an enemy card, purchase a card, play the cards in your hand, and then the enemy attacks. Very simple, very straightforward. So this is my hand of cards here. This is the starting hand as indicated by the fact they've got a little hand in the top corner there. Um, when you buy this from Game Crafter, you get the box, the rules, and the cards. This here is uh, something I've printed out myself. You can download the image yourself and print it out, but I just stuck this onto some cardboard and grabbed a couple of counters from... Crikey, I can't even remember what game that is now, but it's a long time ago. So what we're looking at here is your morale track at the top and your health track at the bottom. Let's have a look at the, one of these cards. Um, this has four statistics. It's your resources that you can use to buy stuff, um, the morale you get back from using this card, the health you get back from using this card, and the attack value that this card has. And you use that attack value and this is the first of the enemy cards, which has a value of 3. So to destroy that enemy card, I have to have an attack value of 3 or more to kill that card. Okay. Oh, and this is how much morale damage and how much health damage this card does to, to my tracks over here. Right, so... The first stage is you deal five cards from your deck. Well, my deck consists of these five cards at the moment, so there's nothing to actually deal. I now deploy an enemy card, which means I take the top card here and turn him face up. This means I now know what enemies I'm facing. And as you saw, this one will do one morale damage to me. But it doesn't do that yet, it's just deployed. The next thing that I can do is I can use the resource values which in this case is three, four, five, six points to buy one of the cards that's out on display here. Now these four have been dealt from this deck here so they're completely random but these three always start over there and you can buy the top card of the pile. So you can see this one allows me to buy another resource card basically and a health repair. Um, slight variation there. So. I've dealt five cards, I've deployed the enemy, I can now buy a card, and I have six resource points to spend. But I can only buy one card per turn. And the cost of the card is shown in the top right hand corner, in yellow. So to buy this one, which repairs three health and gives me two resource, would cost me six points. And I have six points, so I could buy that. But looking here, I see this one might be a much better card to buy because it gives me two resource, gives me a morale, gives me an attack and has this special ability here that allows me to return an enemy card back to the top of the enemy deck. The exposed cards over here will be attacking me this turn but if I had this card and played it this turn then I'd be able to push that back onto this deck and it wouldn't attack me. So I'm going to spend my resource points to purchase this card. This now goes into my discard pile over here at the side. I can now basically play these cards for everything they do. Um, total of that attack value here is two, so I can't attack this enemy card because it needs three to kill it. I can repair some health and some, no, no health. I can repair one morale using this card, but there is no morale damage as yet. So basically I've effectively used up my opening hand of cards, so that goes on to my discard pile. I should replace that card there for future turns. So I've played all my cards, now the enemy attack. So once more we look at this card, we see this card does one morale damage. So I reduce my morale damage from 10 to 9. And that card stays out and stays in play. Now. We need to deal five more cards for the next turn, so my deck now has six cards in, so I need to give this a quick shuffle, so I don't know what I'm going to get. 
And then I deal myself five cards, and that becomes my draw deck. So let's have a look at what I got. Did I get that card with the special ability? No, I've basically, I've got my opening hand again. That special card comes out next turn as it, as it turns out. So the next thing I do is deploy an enemy card. So I'll move that one over and I deploy the next enemy card. Now you can see this one is more difficult to kill. It'll take four points to kill it. And this does a health damage to me. So there's now two enemy cards out here. One's going to do morale damage. The other's going to do health damage. Now, there are two cards here. There can be a maximum of four enemies on display at any one time. So I've deployed the enemy card. I can now spend my resources, which again is six points, to purchase one of the cards that are out here. I see there's this nice one, which costs seven points, which does five attack on its own. That's pretty good. But I don't have enough for that at the moment. Um, OK, what I'm going to do this turn is I'm just going to buy this card. And the reason for that is it has this special ability which allows me to draw and play one more card on my turn. So I get to play six cards once this one's come out, plus it gives me one attack. So I'm going to purchase that and put that into my discard pile over here. Once again, just like on the first hand, I've only got two attack points, so I can't do any damage to these. Um, but you can see I've got one morale here. And I've got one morale damage over there. So as part of playing these cards, I can regain that morale point, which puts me back on 10. And then I discard my hand. And now the enemy attacks. We've got one morale damage here, and we've got one health damage here. So I take one on each track. And of course I keep forgetting to lay out there. There should always be four cards available for you to purchase. OK, so now it's a new turn and I need to deal myself five cards. Well, here's the first card. I need to shuffle my discard deck again. OK, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, and I now have two cards to draw from next turn. Let's see what I've got. Ah, there's that one. Returning an enemy card to the top of the deck. That's quite useful. Resupply, resupply, hasty attack. So I've got one of my new cards in this hand. Okay, so. Um, it's time to deploy an enemy card. So we're now getting up to three enemy cards now. And this one does two health damage and would take six points of attack to kill it. Right, so I can purchase a card. I've got three, four, six points to purchase again. I really need to get some attack points going here so that I can start taking out the enemies. So I'm going to go for this cheap card, three points it costs me, but it does have three attacks. So I'll put that straight into my discard pile over here. I can now play my cards to get stuff back. So I've got one morale and one health, actually two morale if I needed it. And one health, so that puts both these tracks back at the beginning again. So I've played them. But I'm also going to play this return an enemy card to the top of the deck. Well, I can do that now. So that means I push this card back over here, which means it's not going to be able to attack me. So I've now discard all of those, and the enemy cards attack me now. So there's only these two out, and they both attack me for one point each on the morale and the health. Oh. And yet again, I forgot to lay out another card here. All right, new turn again. I've got two cards to play, so I shuffle my discards again to make a new draw deck. OK, so I've got two, three, four, five, and three cards ready to come out next time. So let's see what we got. Ah, oh, there's that new card that had draw and play one more card. Basic cards. Ah, oh, there's the other one with three attack. That's good. And I can return an enemy card to the top of the deck. Excellent. So I can avoid a lot of damage now. OK, so uh, deploy an enemy card. That means this card comes back out. So we dodged the damage he would have done to us last turn. I can now buy a card and I have only four resource points. And none of these four cards come within that scope. But I could, if I want, buy the top card from over here. 
It only cost two points, it gave me more resource and one health, but no more attack. I don't know, I think maybe I, I could do with some more resource. So I am going to buy this card and put it straight into my discard pile. But I'm now playing my cards, of course, so I can draw and play one more card. OK, um, I've already bought my card, so I can't use this extra resource from here. But it does give me another health back. So let's have a look at what I've got attack-wise here. Oh, hang on. I forgot about that. I've also got this return an enemy card to the top of the deck, so I can push this card back up there again. Do you know, oh, I've gone wrong. <laughs> I forgot. I knew something was wrong. I'd forgot to deploy another enemy card. There we go. Right, so there's now four enemy cards out there, which is the maximum. But I can return an enemy card back to the top of the deck. So I'll push the newest one, which does one health and one morale, back over here. So I've used that for its special ability. Um, and I've played one more card. How many attack values have I got in my hand here? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six points of attack. I can actually attack more than one card if I have enough attack points to kill two. Up here I've got one for three, one for four, and one for six. Three, four, five, six. So I could take out any one of these three cards. Push that up there. I'm going to take out this one because it does two health damage. So I use my attack values on these cards to kill this. This goes into my defeated enemies pile over here. So I now have um, one health and one morale back. One health and one morale as you look across this hand of cards. So I get back to full health again. Excellent. And that's my hand of cards played. Enemy cards that are now in play do damage to me. And it's one morale and one health again. So these move back down. And then we move on to the next turn. I have two cards. So I now shuffle my discard pile. Three, four, five. And that's four cards to come out next turn. Any special abilities? Ah, look at that. Return an enemy card to the top of the deck again. That's handy. So I've dealt my cards. I now deploy an enemy. So that means this one comes back out. And I can buy a card. So let's look at my resource count here. Three, four, five. Ah, I've got a total of seven now. Which means I can afford this card if I want. Now this is pretty good. It's got three attack on it. But it's also got one morale back, so that's quite good for seven. But look at this one. The Bombardment card gives me one morale back and an attack of five. With that, I'm going to be able to take out an enemy, well, at least these weaker enemies, pretty easy. So I'm going to buy that one. That goes into my discard pile. And health and morale. I get two morale back, but no health. So my morale goes back up to 10, but my health stays down there at 9. So I now discard my hand. The enemy attacks, and we have a total here of morale damage of 1, 2 morale damage, and 1, 2 health damage. Suddenly things aren't looking so hot over there. And so then starts a new round, and I should have already deployed this here. And that's how the game plays. I'm not going to play right through the whole game here. I'll just show you what's what's available. Um, to reiterate, you get this box and the cards when you go to Game Crafter. You can download this image here and print it out yourself. And you don't get these counters. You will have to find your own counters um, for use there. If you go to War Game Vault, you can download these cards as a PDF that you can print out. That package also includes high quality images of all the cards. So if you don't want to print out the PDF, but you want to do something, perhaps send the cards to ArtsCal and get them printed yourself there, you can do so. There you go. Wipers Salient.